The rice plant belongs to the genus Oryza of Graminae family. The genus Oryza has 24 species, of which 22 are wild and two species, namely Oryza sativa and Oryza glabarima, are cultivated. All the varieties found in Asia, America, and Europe belong to Oryza sativa and varieties found in West Africa belong to Oryza glamorema. Sativa rice varieties of the world are commonly grouped into three subspecies, namely Indica, Japonica and Javanica. Rice grown in India belongs to Indica. The varieties developed in Japan belong to Japonica and javanica are cultivated mainly in Indonesia. Rice is the most important crop of India and it occupies 23.3% of grass cropped area of the country. Rice contributes 43% of total food grain production and 46% of total cereal production. It plays vital role in the national food grain supply. It is the staple food of nearly half of the world population. It ranks third after wheat and maize in terms of worldwide production. Asia accounts for 90% and 92% of world's rice area and production respectively. Thus, rice production, consumption and trade are concentrated in Asia. One third of Asia's rice production is consumed in China and one fifth in India. Among the rice growing countries in the world, India has the largest area under rice crop, about 45 million hectare and ranks second in production next to China. India and China together account for 56% of the total production and about 50% of world's area under rice. Other important rice producing countries are Indonesia 8.8%, Bangladesh 4.9%, Vietnam 4.6%, Myanmar 3.3%, Thailand 3.7%, Japan 2.2%, Brazil 1.6%, United States of America 1.4% and Russian Federation 0.1%. Common local names Hindi, Chawal, Kannada, Akki, Malayalam, Pachari, Tamil, Pachirisi, Telugu, Biyamu. Origin Oryza sativa was domesticated from the wild grass Oryza rufi pogon roughly 10,000 to 14,000 years ago. Oryza glabarima was domesticated much later in West Africa. Genetic evidence show that all forms of Asian rice, both Indica and Japonica, come from a single domestication event that occurred 8,200 to 13,500 years ago in the Pearl Valley region of China. Rice was cultivated in the Indus Valley civilization. Agricultural activity during the second millennium BC included rice cultivation in the Kashmir and Harappan regions. 
mixed farming was the basis of Indus Valley economy. The earliest remains of the grain in the Indian subcontinent have been found in the Indo-Gangetic plain and date from 7000 to 6000 BC, though the earliest widely accepted date for cultivated rice is placed at around 3000 to 2500 BC with findings in regions belonging to the Indus Valley civilization. Perennial wild rices still grow in Assam and Nepal. It seems to have appeared around 1400 BC in southern India after its domestication in the northern plains. It then spread to all the fertile alluvial plains watered by rivers. Cultivation and cooking methods are thought to have spread to the west rapidly and by medieval times. Southern Europe saw the introduction of rice as a healthy grain. Geographic Distribution The top 10 rice producing countries in the world today are India, China, Indonesia, Bangladesh, Thailand, Vietnam, Burma, the Philippines, Cambodia and Pakistan. These countries are also among the top rice consumers of the world and combine to account for around 90% of the world's rice consumption. Africa, Mexico, Brazil, USA, Europe are some of the other rice growing countries. Rice growing regions in India Rice is grown under so diverse soil and climatic conditions that it is said that there is hardly any type of soil in which it cannot be grown including alkaline and acidic soils. Rice crop has also got wide physical adaptability, therefore it is grown from below sea level that is Kuttanadu area of Kerala up to an elevation of 2000 meters in Jammu and Kashmir, hills of Uttaranchal, Himachal Pradesh and Northern Eastern Hills NEH, areas. The rice growing areas in the country can be broadly grouped into five regions. Northeastern region. This region comprises of Assam and Northeastern states. In Assam, Rice is grown in the basin of Brahmaputra river. This region receives very heavy rainfall and rice is grown under rain fed conditions. Eastern region This region comprises of Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Orissa, Eastern Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. In this region, rice is grown in the basins of Ganga and Mahanadi rivers and has the highest intensity of rice cultivation in the country. This region receives heavy rainfall and rice is grown mainly under rain fed conditions. Northern region This region comprises of Haryana, Punjab, Western Uttar Pradesh, Uttarkhand, Himachal Pradesh and Jammu in Kashmir. The region experiences low winter temperature and single crop of rice from May to July to September to December is grown. Western region. This region comprises of Gujarat, Maharashtra and Rajasthan. Rice is largely grown under rain fed conditions during June, August to October, December. Southern region. This region comprises of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Rice is mainly grown in deltaic tracts of Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri rivers and the non-deltaic rain fed areas of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Rice is grown under irrigated conditions in deltaic tracts. Economic Importance Rice is an important staple food crop for more than 60% of the world people. In 2008, 
more than 430 million metric tons of rice were consumed worldwide according to the USDA. Ready to eat products for example popped and puffed rice, instant or rice flakes, canned rice and fermented products are produced. Rice straw is used as cattle field, used for thatching roof and in cottage industry for preparation of hats, mats, ropes, sound absorbing material, straw boards and used as package material. Rice husk is used as animal feed for paper making and as fuel source. Rice bran is used in cattle and poultry feed. Defatted bran, which is rich in protein, can be used in the preparation of biscuits and as cattle field. Rice bran oil is used in soap industry. Refined oil can be used as a cooling medium like cottonseed oil or corn oil. Rice bran wax, a byproduct of rice bran oil, is used in industries. Rice is primarily a high energy or high caloric food. The protein content is less than wheat. The protein content of milled rice is usually 6 to 17 percent. The biological value of its protein is high. Rice contains low fat about 2 to 2.5 percent. In milling process, much of the fat is lost. The calcium content in rice is generally low. B group vitamins are found in rice grains as in wheat. Valuable protein, vitamins and minerals are lost in the milling process of rice. The embryo and alluron layer of rice are removed during the course of milling. However, much of the loss of the nutrients can be avoided through steaming or para boiling process. The byproducts of rice milling are used for a variety of purposes. Rice bran is the most valuable byproduct of rice milling industry. It is obtained from the outer layers of the brown rice. Generally, rice bran consists of pericarp, a luron layer, germ, and a part of endosperm. Bran removal amounts to 4 to 9 percent of the weight of paddy milled and is abundant in oil. Raw rice bran contains about 18 to 20 percent oil, whereas para boiled rice bran contains about 22 to 25 percent oil. The de oiled bran, which is a rich source of protein, about 17 percent and vitamins, vitamins A and E is used as cattle feed and poultry feed. It is a good source of foreign exchange earnings. Rice hulls can be used in manufacture of insulation materials, cement and cardboard. It is also used as litter bed in poultry keeping. Rice straw is used as cattle feed and it is also used as litter bed during winter season. <coughs> varieties History of development of rice varieties in India As early as 1949, the new United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, set up a rice breeding program in Katak in India. The famous IR-8 was developed in this institute. In the mid-60s, most of Asia was experiencing drought and potential famine conditions. The International Rice Research Institute IRRI, decided to get IR-8 out quickly to the rest of the world. IR-8 became popular in the entire world as Miracle Rice. Indian Council of Agriculture Research ICAR, initiated rice research projects in various states of the country. 
82 research stations in 14 states of the country were established, fully devoted for rice research projects. These research stations, mainly by the pure line method of selection and some hybrids, released 489 improved varieties. These varieties are of various kinds such as earliness, deep water and flood resistant, lodging resistant, drought resistant, non-shredding of grains, dormancy of seed, control of wild rice, disease resistant, higher response to heavy manuring. Variety Release Procedure Any variety of agricultural or horticultural crops is released by the Central Seed Committee constituted under the Seed Act 1966. This committee is headed by the Secretary Agriculture and Cooperation, Department of Agriculture and Cooperation, Ministry of Agriculture. This committee has released 489 varieties. List of popular varieties. The following 31 varieties are released after the year 2000 for different ecological conditions of southern India. Karnataka Hill Paddy 5 Crop duration that is in days 150 to 155 The salient features of this variety is dwarf that is 85 to 90 centimeter Grains are medium bold Resistant to blast yield is about 35 to 40 quintal per hectare Hemavati Crop duration 160 to 165 Salient feature, it is semi-dwarf, 100 to 110. Grains are medium, slender and white. It is resistant to blast, leaf and neck blast. It yields 45 to 50 quintals per hectare. Shravani, crop duration 115 to 120 days. Salient features, dwarf, 80 to 85 centimeter. Grains are long, slender, white. It is resistant to blast helminthosporium, tolerant to bacterial leaf blight, susceptible to rice thungro virus. Yield is about 60 quintals per hectare. Somasila, crop duration 90 days. Salient features dwarf 80 to 85 centimeter. Grains are medium slender, white, abdominal white absent. It's Resistant to blast and helminthosporium, tolerant to bacterial leaf blight, but susceptible to rice thungro virus. Yields about 60 quintals per hectare. Swati, crop duration 120 to 125 days. Salient features dwarf 80 to 85 centimeters. Grains are long, slender, white, abdominal white is absent. They are resistant to blast, tolerant to helminthosporium and bacterial leaf blight, but susceptible to rice thungro virus, stem borer, leaf folder, rice hispa, rice thrips, and brown plant hopper. Yields about 60 quintals per hectare. Vedagiri. Crop duration is about 150 to 155 days. Salient features are semi-dwarf, about 107 cm. Grains are medium slender, tolerant to stem borer, gall midge, and rice thungro virus. Resistant to blast, susceptible to brown plant hopper and leaf roller. Yields about 60 quintals per hectare. Maruteru Sennalu. Crop duration 150 to 165 days. Sealant features. Dwarf 90 to 95 centimeter, grains are medium slender, white, abdominal white absent. They are susceptible to blast and stem borer. Yields about 20 to 30 quintals per hectare. Cotandora sannalu, crop duration 120 days, salient features are semi dwarf, about 108 centimeter, grains are long slender white, abdominal white absent. They are resistant to blast and tolerant to 
brown plant hopper yields about to 74 quintals per hectare. Bharani crop duration 120 to 125 days. Salient features are a dwarf 70 to 75 centimeter. Grains are long slender, white, abdominal white absent. They are resistant to Helminthosporium and rice tungro virus. They are tolerant to gall fly and stem borer, but susceptible to blast, leaf folder, rice hispa, and brown plant hopper. Yields about 60 quintals per hectare. Deep tea. Crop duration about 150 days. Salient features semi dwarf 100 cm, grains medium, slender, white, abdominal white absent, tolerant to brown plant hopper, yields about 55 to 60 quintals per hectare. Srikakulam Sannalu Crop duration 155 to 160 days. Salient features are semi dwarf 110 to 120 cm, grains are long, slender, white, abdominal white absent. They are resistant to blast, gall midge and stem borer. Yields about 55 to 63 quintals per hectare. Vasundara. Crop duration is about 130 to 135 days. Salient features are semi-dwarf 100 to 105 centimeter. Grains long, slender, tolerant to rice tungro virus and blast, resistant to plant hopper and gall midge, yields about 55 to 60 quintals per hectare. Early Samba Crop duration is about 130 to 135 days. Salient features are dwarf 80 to 90 centimeter, grains are medium slender, white the tolerant to stem borer yields about 60 to 65 quintals per hectare. Surya crop duration is about 145 days. Salient features are semi dwarf 100 centimeter. Grains are long, slender, white, tolerant to brown plant hopper and white back plant hopper yields about 60 quintals per hectare. CO47, that is Coimbatore 47, crop duration 110 to 115 days, hairlid features, dwarf 80 to 92 centimeter, grains, medium slender, resistant to blast, moderately susceptible to all hoppers. ADT44, crop duration 150 to 160, salient features, semi-dwarf, 112 cm, grains short, bold, white, abdominal white present, resistant to blast, green leaf hopper, stem borer, brown spot and leaf folder, yield 62 quintals per hectare. COM 442, crop duration 100, salient features dwarf 86 cm, grains long, bold, red, non-lodging, resistant to white back plant hopper, leaf folder, moderately resistant to stem borer and low susceptible to blast, yields about 45 to 50 quintals per hectare. Mughal Suganda 1, crop duration 130 to 135 days, salient features are dwarf 65 centimeter, grains are long, slender, moderately resistant to blast, moderately tolerant to leaf roller, yields about 32 to 35 quintals per hectare. Calm 57, 18, 1, 1. Crop duration 77, salient features dwarf 85 to 90 centimeter, short duration, grain, medium bold, red, tolerant to sheath blight and sheath rust resistant to brown plant hopper and gall midge, yield 50 to 55 quintals per hectare. Mangala Masuri, crop duration 100 days, salient features tall 123 centimeter, grains are 
medium slender, medium tillering plants, susceptible to blast and sheath blight, moderately resistant to stem borer and blue beetle, low incidence of gall fly and oral maggot, yield is about 50 to 55 quintals per hectare. Karuna, crop duration 150 to 160 days, salient features tall about 147 cm, grains are long, broad, red, moderately resistant to sheath blight and blast, stem borer, yield about 45 to 50 quintals per hectare. Deepti, crop duration about 130 to 135 days. Salient features are tall, 123 cm, grains are long, slender, red, medium duration, resistant to udbata and moderately resistant to blast, leaf roller and stem borer, yields about 40 quintals per hectare, com 57911, crop duration about 100 days, salient features are semi-dwarf 90 to 95 centimeter, grains are medium bold, red, resistant to brown plant hopper, moderately resistant to gall midge, tolerant to sheath blight and sheath rust, yields about 50 to 55 quintals per hectare, com 4521. Crop duration is about 77 days. Salient features are dwarf 90 to 93 centimeter. Grains are medium bold, red, resistant to brown plant hopper, tolerant to sheath blight and sheath rest. Yields about 50 to 55 quintals per hectare. Calm 42. 6, 3. Crop duration about 100 days. Salient features are dwarf 90 to 93 cm. Grains are medium bold, red, resistant to gall midge and brown plant hopper, tolerant to sheath blight and sheath rest. Yields about 65 to 70 quintals per hectare. Calm 20, 19, 4. Crop duration is about 77 days. Salient features are Dwarf, 90 to 93 cm. Grains are medium bold, red, resistant to brown plant hopper, tolerant to sheath blight and sheath rust. Yields about 55 to 60 quintals per hectare. Com 61, 6112. Crop duration is about 85 days. Salient features are semi-dwarf, 90 to 95 cm. Grains are medium bold, red, resistant to gall midge and brown plant hopper, tolerant to sheath blight and sheath rust, yields about 60 to 70 quintals per hectare. Com 59.29.212. Crop duration is 85 days. Sale and features are semi dwarf, that's about 90 to 95 centimeter. Grains are medium bold, red, resistant to gall midge and brown plant hopper, tolerant to sheath blight and sheath rust, yields about 60 to 70 quintals per hectare. Makaram, crop duration is about 160 to 175 days, salient features are semi-dwarf about 111 centimeter, grains are medium broad, red, no major disease and pests, yields about 52 quintals per hectare. Calm 4-2. Crop duration is about 77 days. Salient features are dwarf, 86 cm. Grains are long, broad, white, susceptible to blast, resistant to white back plant hopper and leaf folder, moderately resistant to ear head bug, blue beetle and stem borer. Yields about 45 to 50 quintals per hectare. Kumban. Crop duration is about 165 to 178 days. Salient features are semi-dwarf, about 95 cm. Grains are medium, broad, red, tolerant to lodging, no major pets and diseases. Yields about 47 quintals per hectare. Soil and climatic requirement. In India, 
rice is grown under widely varying conditions of altitude and climate. Rice cultivation in India extends from 8 to 35 degree north latitude and from sea level to as high as 3000 meters. Rice crop needs a hot and humid climate. It is best suited to regions which have high humidity, prolonged sunshine and an assured supply of water. The average temperature required throughout the life period of crop ranges from 21 to 37 degrees centigrade. Maximum temperature which the crop can tolerate is 40 degrees centigrade to 42 degrees centigrade. Distribution of different rice soils. The distribution of various kinds of rice soils in the country are classified into seven types. Humid, wet, and Himalayan region. This region comprises of sub mountain regions, hilly soils, and tarai soils. The distribution of this region is in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Kumavan and Gurwal divisions of Uttaranchal. Humid Bengal Assam Basin and humid Eastern Himalayan region. The altitude of rice growing areas in this region ranges from few meters in Sundarbans in West Bengal to about 1,600 meters in Mizoram state and more than 2,000 meters in Arunachal Pradesh. The alluvial soil deposited by the rivers mostly occupy the major part of the wetland rice soil in this region. The subhumid Sutlej Ganga alluvial plains. The major group of soils in this region are calcareous alluvial, riverine alluvial, saline alkaline, red yellow loam, red sandy and mixed red and black. The alluvial soils are rich in potash and calcium but are deficient in organic matter, nitrogen and phosphorus. The subhumid, humid, eastern and southeastern uplands. In eastern Madhya Pradesh, Orissa and Andhra Pradesh, the rice soils are laterite, red yellow loam, red sandy, mixed red and black, deltaic alluvium, deep and medium deep black, red loam and coastal alluvial. These soils contain sufficient lime and pH ranges from 7 to 8.5. These soils are also deficient in phosphorus and low in organic matter and nitrogen. The arid western plains. The soils of this region are alluvial, red yellow and medium deep black. These soils are found in Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat and the Union Territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli. The semi-arid lava plateau and central highlands. This region comprising of Maharashtra, Western and Central Madhya Pradesh and Goa, Daman and Diu Union Territories having alluvium, coastal alluvium, mixed red and black soils. These soils are neutral to slightly alkaline, nitrogen and phosphorus are low in these soils. However, potassium is medium to high. The humid to semi-arid Western Ghats and Karnataka Plateau. Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Union Territory of Pondicherry and Lakshadweep Islands are coming in this region. The soils of this region are laterite, red sandy or gravelly, red loamy, deltaic and coastal alluvium. These soils are having low content of available plant nutrients. They are generally inundated with saline water resulting in high acidic. Temperature at different stages. Minimum temperature for sprouting is 10 degrees centigrade. At the time of tillering, the crop requires a high temperature than for growth. 
Minimum temperature for flowering ranges from 22 to 23 degrees centigrade. Temperature requirement for blooming is in the range of 26.5 to 29.5 degrees centigrade. Minimum temperature for grain formation from 20 to 21 degrees centigrade. At the time of ripening, the temperature should be between 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. Photoperiodically, rice is a short day plant. However, there are varieties which are non sensitive to photoperiod condition. Conclusion The rice or paddy, that is, Oriza sativa, is cultivated in Asia. Sativa rice varieties of the world are commonly grouped into three subspecies, namely Indica, Japonica, and Javanica. Rice grown in India belongs to the Indica family. The varieties developed in Japan belong to Japonica and Javanica are cultivated mainly in Indonesia. Rice is the most important crop of India and it occupies 23.3% of grass cropped area of the country. Rice contributes 43% of the total food grain production and 46% of total cereal production. It plays vital role in the national food grain supply. It is the staple food of nearly half of the world population. The world famous IR8 variety was developed in India. Today, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, that is ICAR, has 82 research stations in 14 states of the country and has released 489 improved varieties for different agroclimatic regions of India. Rice is grown under so diverse soil and climatic conditions that it is said that there is hardly any type of soil in which it cannot be grown, including alkaline and acidic soils. Rice is primarily a high energy or high caloric food. The protein content is less than wheat. The protein content of milled rice is usually 6 to 17 percent. The biological value of its protein is high. Rice contains low fat about 2 to 2.5 percent. Any variety is released by the Central Seed Committee constituted under the Seed Acts 1966. This committee has released 489 varieties in India. Thank you. Thank you.